Probably Morning, friends. How are we doing? Hey, good. Okay, so what we got? Actually, I've known this gal for years. I went to school with her, and she phoned me the other day. Actually, she was buying the house, and she phoned. We got the Merc here. The Merc's keeping an eye on this old cedar, and they had. She bought a trailer here, right down in my community, right in Cedar. And she said, Buckin, you know, can you come down and look at this thing for me? And, and it's right on the house. I mean, it is a big, big cedar. It's probably four feet on the stump. You've heard me say that before. I think we should measure this one. It's a big freaking fat tree. And here it is. Okay. So it goes up and it's being topped, of course. So it's got four or five tops in it, but it's got all this foliage in it. Like it's actually really big. It's right on the house. So I think I'm just going to climb up and lift a bit of this this foliage off the back side we'll just drop it in here so that it clears the trailer and this pole we might even save this pole out i'm going to shoot it in there and hopefully save that little pole out that's kind of the plan we're going to do that today that's kind of fun hey eh? i hope you'll enjoy yourselves because we know i'm going to so here it is i mean look at the freaking thing it's a monster it's a cedar look it's croaking it's got you know it was topped hey eh, friends it was topped so we got, a, we got a bit of a breeze up, but I don't think it's working against me. I think it's blowing on the house. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's blowing back into the tree, which will kind of help the scenario a little bit. It's blowing like, well, you can see those big Lombardies in the back 40. Those are my wind gauge. Lombardi poppies are my wind gauge. They go like sails. You can see them off in the distance. So the wind is actually blowing back that away, which it's not helping, but it's not hurting. So here this freaking thing is though. I mean, it's as wide as it is tall. <laughs> it's a monster, actually. Oh, there's a bit of weight hanging off this backside, actually. Because those are school marms, not limbs. So that's probably heavy wood. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to bang this girl. So that's what we'll do. So I just want to do a little pre. A little pre Vidskis. She's big. Hey, she's a good size tree. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah, the wind's blowing this way, so hopefully it'll, it'll help us. We'll put it in here. Put it in here. I'll set you guys up here. I gotta get my firewood yet, too, today. So I better cut this tree down, scrank the limbs off it, chop it all up, so I'll leave debris, and then go get my firewood. I got a busy day. How are you supposed to do any content and say hi to your YouTube friends when you're working all the time? <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, friends. Okay, so what we've done here is it was worth it. I went up and I, I didn't, I'm just working by myself, an old buddy of mine, Steve here. So I lowered these great big, huge limbs out to him and he just basically undid them. Now I'll clear the stump. I'll get the old McCull out and I'll clear the stump, get all this out of here. Cause we got the corner of the house free now and we lifted up foliage. Our, our plan is it's not a, it's not a must, but I try and do what I can for people. So I'm going to try and save her this pole. It's not a major, but we'd like to save it. So I lifted a little extra more brush than I wanted to. I just needed to clear the corner of the house, but then we talked about saving the pole. So why not? We'll give it a try. So that's kind of the plan. So I'm just going to clear the stump and then we'll get back on her with an undercut and a back cut. Maybe some wedges. Over now. Please. Pull out a bucking special and start a whacking. Booga booga. All right. Well, there we go. We're going to, uh, we're going to cut this thing up. I brought the uh, I brought the Arvika because it's a pretty big tree. I don't I'm sure the other fine, but I just like using that big big saw there, big axe there for bigger trees. So let's do a cold start on this Mac. It's a Mac 850 with a 32 inch bar with a hand file on a skip tooth chain. Finicky today.
plan. Okay, nice and clean. Don't need to make it all haywire and put any nice sound tree, good sign. Okay, when you get to this point, what you can do, because what we got to do is slip it by this pole here and down in here. But that's why we spent time, sorry, stripping off that foliage on the back side of the house there, right there, you see. So what you can do when you get your undercut out on a tree that you're not, it's a little bigger than you used to and you got to walk around it and kind of, what you do after that is if you're concerned about direction, let's go like this. Now, what you do is you stick your power saw in here and you put it up against the undercut like this, right in against there, okay? And then look at your sights. And that to me looks like she's going right up in there. Looks real good actually. Okay, so that, that's kind of, that helps, helps direction because it's a clean undercut. So, so it should be fine, okay? It's cedar, cedar pulls wood. So we got a little rope to the truck just for some insurance. I'm gonna grab a couple of wedges out of the Merc <clears throat> and we're gonna put a back cut in it. Um, it's a good sized tree. It's a good sized tree. You got a wind up. That's a 28 inch handle, so. Yeah, she's probably close to four feet. Not quite, not quite four. So let's get you back here with me. <clears throat> so you can see the tree go down. I think I'm gonna start a fresh video. I am. On a big tree like this, just scribe around if you want. I'll show you what I mean by that.
McCullough was making some funny noises. He sounded like it was leaning out, didn't it? That's about where we wanted her. Right at the plum tree. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Come on, Stevie! That was awesome. Not bad, eh? Right, right on the money, right at the plum. She stayed right on course, actually. It didn't move ahead. No, right on course. Big tree, actually. Now, good. Hey, listen. Thanks for hanging around. That was fun, eh? Oh, my goodness. I wonder who that is. <laughs> Over and out, friend. that one. Down she goes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> So I just just pulled into the house and uh, just finished that just finished that cedar tree. They, they bought that trailer off an old man who died. Look at this. Look at my new vice for working on axis wood one of the gentlemen on the on the on the one of the subscribers said buck and you need a wood uh, carpenter's vice well i got one i traded them a little bit knocked a little bit off the tree job for them i'm stoked check it out richards wilcox richards wilcox london canada patent 1913 I'm pretty stoked with that. Not just any carpenter's vice. You know, when you're bucking, you gotta have you gotta have something that's old and crazy. It's a heavy bugger, really. <laughs> Let's put this in here. Holy! Boom! Let's put this over here. I can. I'm gonna do some bench work. I think. This <laughs> primitive little look. No, I'm not even gonna show you this. I'm not even show. It's terrible. It is. It's terrible. Look at. Oh, axis. Oh, that's a heavy bugger. That one. 
but I guess it could go there, but I, I don't think it's going to. I, I, I'm, yeah, I got a plan. I'm going to grab one of my great big cedar freaking things. I'm going to re, I'm redoing this. I'm going to redo it. I'm going I'm to tear it right apart. But I can't. I got no time to. I got to work. Let's just, just be a full-time YouTuber. Let's just do it. <laughs> I can handle it. You guys know I could. But I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Cut trees and do YouTube. That's what that's what I want to do. Make access. Over and out, friends. Thanks for hanging around on the cedar tree with me. <laughs>